If you are a tourist and you are wondering where to go in Yerevan, Armenia, then this list is for you. You might need 2-3 days to visit all these places but you won't regret a second. Yerevan, Armenia has a very rich culture as it is one of the oldest cities in the world. And I will help you to explore the cultural treasures of Yerevan, Armenia. 1. Republic Square and National Gallery and Armenia History Museum. Here in Armenia, Republic Square is considered to be one of 10 most beautiful squares of the world. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't find the source but I totally agree with the statement. Republic Square is really thrilling. It was constructed from 1924 to 1929. Its architect is a Jimmy Al Armenian architect, a Tumanian who also designed Yerevan in general. The square is surrounded by the National Gallery and the History Museum, the Ministry of Territorial Administration of Armenia, the Government House, the Central Post Office of Armenia, the Marriott Armenia Hotel, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Armenia and the Ministry of Energy and Natural Resources of Armenia. In the night the square is especially beautiful because of the dancing fountains. The square is the beloved place of Yerevan couples. 2. Maitnadrin. One can think that Maitnadrin, the ancient manuscripts museum could be a boring place. However, it is just the first and false impression. I am only 22 years old and I can tell that Maitnadrin was awesome. Every single book, every single page of the books covers a very interesting story. I will bring just one example. The heaviest book in Maitnadrin was around 34 kilograms. During Armenian genocide it was carried out from Turkey by two sisters. They cut the book into two pieces minus 17 kilograms each and tied to their bodies. One of them died during their escape from Turkey and her piece was lost. The other piece was saved. A few years later the second part was saved by a Russian soldier. And believe me, other very amazing stories are covered in the walls of Maitnadrin. This one was just one of them. Maitnadrin is surrounded by sculptures of the great mines of Armenia and Mesrop Mashtots. The inventor of Armenian alphabet is standing in the middle with his pupil, Korean. 3. Opera House. Opera House is the other great building by the Junior A. Timonian. Located in the heart of Yerevan, it is indeed a piece of art from outside and of course it is magnificent inside. It would be enough to say that it is one of few opera theatres in the world that were able to perform Aida of Giuseppe Verdi but one should also know that Opera House has held concerts of such artists as Charles Asnever, John McLaughlin, Emir Kasturitsa and No Smoking Orchestra, Ian Anderson and many others. Opera House is surrounded by the Freedom Square where Armenia has celebrated its independence in 1991. Now it is the beloved place for most Armenians, couples, tourists and of course the protesters. 4. Tsitsuna Kabad and Genocide Museum. Tsitsuna Kabad is the place where Armenians gather to remember the victims of the Armenian Genocide. Every April 24 people from Yerevan, other regions of Armenia and even a lot of diaspora representatives walk to the eternal fire and put flowers in memory of the millions of people died during the tragedy. For details, photos and other information of the Armenian Genocide people visit the Genocide Museum which is located in 30-40 meters away from the monument. However, Sitsuna Kabad is a wonderful park too where Yerevan couples love to spend time. It is a huge park with a lot of trees. And as it is very highly located the view is wonderful from there especially at night. 5. Arin Bird or Erbuni Fortress. This is where Yerevan and modern Armenia begin. Being founded in 8th century BC and surviving to our times it is one of the oldest fortresses in the world. And it makes Yerevan one of the oldest cities of the world. 
Aaron Bird in translation from Armenian means Fortress of Blood though it's not so scary. Indeed, this fortress is of a great historical value. So if you are interested in archaeology or history, this is the place that you cannot miss. 6. Cascade and Kafers Gym Museum. Cascade is my personal favorite. I go there with my friends to drink a cup of coffee and with my girlfriend to walk there. Cascade is just a masterpiece in term of architecture. From the top of Cascade you can see the most beautiful panorama of Yerevan and Ararat if you are lucky enough because mostly Ararat is covered with clouds and is invisible. And Kafizjian with the museum has decorated Cascade in a very beautiful way. There are a lot of original statues there. And of course don't miss the museum. It is a very good museum with statues and pictures by local and international artists. 7. Ararat Brandy Factory Ararat is a symbol of Armenia but so is Ararat Brandy Factory. Any brandy lover should know that after France the best brandy in the world is produced in Armenia, but some even prefer Armenian brandy to French. Ararat Brandy Factory is an old school top quality brandy maker, indeed the best one in Armenia. And it has a very interesting history which is too long to be covered in this article. I recommend you to take the excursion in the factory and do a degustation of the brandy. 8. Northern Avenue Constructed in 2007 Northern Avenue became another beloved place for Yerevan walkers. Northern Avenue was included in Dominion's Yerevan city plan but he wasn't able to construct it. It connects the two Yerevan famous squares, the Republic Square and the Freedom Square, where Opera House is located. Due to time challenges it was modernized and the buildings are far too high compared to Dominion's project. Thus, some say that it is changing the city face stating that it is the Desert Avenue due to the lack of trees. Others say that it is very modern and they would love to have an apartment there. Anyway, all of them love to take a walk in this avenue with their beloved, friends, children. 9. Museum of Paradinev. Until now there are a lot of cinema addicts that still remember the great Armenian movie director Parajinov as he is one of the world-renowned geniuses in that sphere. Some greatest directors such as Fellini, Tarkovsky, Vigo, Antonioni, Godard and many others knew and respected Parajinov as mastermind of his genre. His museum is a great one. And one can find illustrations, drawings, dolls and screenplays of the artist. After visiting you will have a lot of good memories. 10. Museum of Sarian. Well, everybody who explores the world of art, the world of drawings should know Marta Rose Sarian as he is indeed a great painter. He is famous all over the world because of his ability to show the power of the colors. His paintings are very colorful and very beautiful. It is too hard to transfer that beauty by words, words, 